What up, what up, everybody? So, Andre did his thing. He made it look easy work last night. And that's what it was, really. It was two different class. Walters just couldn't deal with uh, Andre timing and skills and all the above. But Andre just was another day in the book. And I was impressed by Andre. Every time I watch him, I'm impressed. And layoffs don't seem to affect him for some reason. Maybe it's his competition. But you can't blame him because he wanted to fight Saunders. It's Saunders who tested positive for PEDs that make you 10 times stronger and faster, blah, blah, blah. So you can't blame Andre for that. So what's next for Andre? I mean, I doubt it'd be uh, the Jacob fight because Jacob, he got an upcoming fight. And if he wins that, they saying he's going to fight Canelo in 2019. So, hey, look like um, your boy... Andre gonna be without a fight or without a like a serious fight, but still he still have the Saunders fight on the table And another one and you can also look at it, you know If uh, I don't think Charlo gonna fight Andre right away, he's gonna wait for his title shot versus Canelo But um that fight right there. That's the future Middleweight division bout that's I feel like at the end of the day. They both gonna meet at the end Andre um, and Charlo, and um, I, I believe that Andre gonna be on top and Charlo gonna be on top, and that's gonna be a hell of a fight. Who's gonna win that one? Ah man, to be honest with you, I don't know. That's a true 50-50 fight, but I mean, like I said, I don't know who to pick. To be honest with you, Andre takes better angles and stuff like that. Meanwhile, Charlo got, it seemed like Charlo has, of course, has way more pop. But um, you've seen it tonight, Andre, I mean, he could fight in the pocket. He could fight in the outside, uh, in mid-range. He could fight everywhere. And um, the angles he takes, I mean, the way he finds escape routes is creative, to be honest with you, for, for a fighter like, um, for a middleweight fighter. The way he moves, so I mean, it's gonna be hard to be Andre, man. It's gonna be hard. So I feel like he shouldn't chase any fighter. To be honest with you, he just need to keep it busy, cause that's his problem. Like you see Andre one time, you impressed, then you don't see him for another um, couple months, or I mean, not couple. Yeah, I wish like a year or two. Like so, I mean, with the zone, he all right. But at the same time, you just need to keep it busy. And the more you fight, the more people are going to request you to fight the big names. So Walters couldn't really... I don't know, man. Every time Walters got cracked, he got dropped. <laughs> but uh, it was just Andre Tommen, man. He's just timing him perfectly. And um, I thought he was going to stop him in the third round, really. But some way, somehow, just Walters he just uh, have a heart of a champion. It's just something Connor doesn't have. You know, Polly over here taking shots and shit during the fight. But um, he definitely had a heart. You had to respect Walters. I mean, to actually get up. The, he was, I thought he was out, man. The way he was falling, you would think you're like, oh, damn, this shit is a knockout. And you thought like, okay, Andre about to come and finish him. But like Polly said, Walters always had his form. Like, you know, it's hard to go. I mean, you know, you can always go for the finish, but it's more dangerous when it's a guy still have his form and stuff like that. And he's still aware that like, you don't know if he's playing possum or like he's trying to counter you or, you know, it was a, if it was a flash knockdown or was he seriously hurt. So, you know, you can't really blame Demetrius Andre for that. I mean, he already put up a hell of a performance. And like I said, Walter just had a hell of a chin. But uh, I was impressed how Andre, man, I was impressed by the way he was fighting the inside, to be honest with you. Every time I watch Andre, I'm impressed. But I want to see him to do it to the elites. I mean, I got you. I know he could be these type of fighters. 
Oh man. Let me in, goddamn. I mean, I know he could. We all know Andre could beat the Walters in a division, but I wanted to see him versus Ali. And we had a chance to, but Sandra came and fucked it up. So because of that, now we got to um, deal with this Walter fight. But thanks to this fight, I don't know if uh, he probably have two mandatories he has to defend. When you win a vacant belt like that, not versus the champion, you have to defend your uh, title versus two uh, top contenders. So we'll see if that happens. Meanwhile, um, Sandra's most likely only going to get suspended for six months because of that. Because the reason, like, he, he did away the title, right? But um, when, because he gave it away the title, they probably told him, hey, look, you could, if you win, I mean, if uh, if Andre win, you could get your title shot back. We're going to give you a title shot. Just let your title go for now. If not, we're going to suspend you for, for a whole year if you're not going to let Andre fight for it. So, Sandra's. Oh, they forced Sanders to do the right thing, and that's what he did. But Andre lived up to the expectations and did, did what he had to do. Could he have stepped up on the gas? Like I said, you didn't know. What he? Oh shit! Hold up. I ain't see. Hey, was goody, y'all? Um, was goody? Was goody? Shit, Andre. Uh, to fill you in, all he did is just beat his ass. Really, I mean, he's just two different classes. Um, you can't really like Walters. He no way could have be beaten Andre. I mean, we all know that Andre's just too gifted. Yes, I mean shit. At some point, Andre would get so fucking low in the inside and make Walters miss like two, three punches, and then like he will hammer him to the body in the inside. Man, that was crazy. So you know, Andre he lived up to the expectations. And he did what he had to do. But um, click on the like button. But the main thing is, hey, what's next? We're, look, just like um, Terrence Crawford versus Errol Spence, it's the fight to make at 147 at this point. I promise you, in the future, the fight to make will be Demetrius uh, Andre versus Charlo. Like, I can see it right now. It look like those two fighters going to be on top of things. Jacob, of course, you got to throw him in the mix. Man, I wish they had a Super 6 right now at middleweight, man. They need it. Throw Triple G. Throw the, uh, the Jacob versus... I ain't going to say Lomachenko, but y'all know what I'm talking about. You got the same name. I keep forgetting his name. Also, Charlo, Andre... Throw these six names in there, man, you got one hell of a super six. And I'm telling you, and I, I believe it'd be Andre versus Charlo at the end. That's my personal opinion, personal opinion. Jacob could easily be one of them two, too. You know, it's a 50-50 fight at the end of the day, but I favor those two out of the bunch. And, man, I favor those two out of the bunch. And... Man, that's going to be a hell of a fight in the future. We'll see how it's going to play out because, I don't know, it seemed kind of odd. The zone have all the champions. They, 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 they about to have all the champions soon if Jacob wins. However, Jacob and Charlo and the guy who Jacob fighting, they're all Ahim fighters. You know what I mean? So, I don't know how that's going to happen. Of course, Canelo, he's with the zone. So, anybody that's trying to fight Canelo... Is gonna have to go to the zone, so Charlo gonna have to go to the zone. I don't think he got a problem with that either. You know what I'm saying? He gonna be like, yo, let me go, let me go get this money, let me go get this belt, and I'm out. But like I said, it's a lot of, um, you know, it ain't like Charlo fight on 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 PBC like he used to. If he want to fight Canelo, but we'll see if Canelo even fights him or vacates the belt. I believe they going the WBC gonna. Pull off some bullshit, or they Canelo just gonna vacate. It is what it is, you know what I mean? Like, I just cannot see him fighting Charlo as a mandatory, and I can't see him fighting Andre either right now. 
One fight he probably take is the Jacob fight. Hearns is pushing for that fight, so we'll see. But um, I don't know, man. Like, Andre, like I said, I want to see him versus a top fighter. If he could do what he just, what he been doing lately, like, man, this ain't just his last performance. He been doing this shit for a long time. But if you could do it to a top level fighter, like, like a Jacob, like a Golovkin, like I want to see him versus them guys to see what he really could do. But Jacob and Andre are cool. You know, I don't know if they're going to fight in the future and shit. Just because, like, yeah, Jacob had an interview saying he will fight Andre, but for a lot, of, a lot of money at the end because they personally cool with each other. It's like, I can respect that. But um, they want to clean out their side. Like, but at the end of the day, like, Andre, on the other hand, came out on an interview saying he willing to fight whoever next. Jacob. Uh, Charlo, blah, 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 Canelo, and I'm like, okay, you know what I'm saying? He don't feel the same way Jacob feel, but um, maybe he was just calling our names, I doubt, but hey, it is what it is, so we'll see. Um, like I said, it was a great fight, entertaining. Jacob put, uh, not Jacob, but Andre put a hell of a performance. I mean, he performed good for um, the zone. I think this is their first fight on no, 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 I think this is the second one because the first one was um your boy AJ when he fought Perfecto and he they wanted to smoke with Wilder. But um so we'll see what's next for Andre. I'll be honest with y'all, like I like to keep it a buck. I'm not gonna sugarcoat shit and be like, yeah, he about to fight this guy or that guy. I don't think his next fight about to be a big fight. It's gonna be a busy fight, stay busy fight. After that, it most likely be Sandra's. After Sandra's get approved, then after that you can expect like a huge, huge fight, like with a unification or something. But it's two fights right now. Two fights from now, it's just like fill-in fights or mandatory fights. That's what I believe. So subscribe below if you're trying to get smart about a minute. If you're trying to get dumb about a second, don't. I listen to these casual-ass fans. If you're a trail one, then click on the notification bell. Peace.